Hey, what's up, guys? Today, I'll show you a horror film, Grim Cuddy. Spoiler ahead, watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, an extremely worried mother named Belinda puts her son to sleep. She locks the door to prevent him from accessing any gadgets. She browses through the internet and reads about a dangerous internet challenge, making her more worried. As she is extremely anxious, the innocent son sneaks out through the window. He sees a tall monster outside, prompting him to get a knife from the kitchen. He finds the scary monster approaching him and runs toward Melinda's room. As the monster goes near, he instantly stabs his anxious mother. In the next scene, an aspiring vlogger, Asha, is creating a vlog on how to cope with anxiety through relaxing sounds. She uploads the video, but appears to be extremely anxious after uploading it. After that, her parents call her as they will leave to watch her brother, Ramkin, play the saxophone. Apparently, the family is following a routine where they do a no-phone family outing once a week. The father explains that they need to do it to avoid phone addiction. In the school, a parent besides Asha's father gets a local news notification and shares with him that there is an internet challenge going on around, which instructs the kids to cut themselves or hurt other people. The parent also reads about the case of Melinda's son, who stabs his mother. Asha's father asks why the kids will follow it. The parent explains kids will do anything just to follow a trend. The other parents in the school also receive the news, so Asha's father and the other parents begin to worry about the safety of their kids against technology. The news causes mass hysteria among the parents in their town. Asha goes outside to talk with her friend. Through her friend's phone, Asha manages to check the status of the newly uploaded video. Asha finds out that it has only a few views, making her feel down. There is also a wow emoji comment from a person named Cassidy. Asha is happy about the positive. However, her friend says that Cassidy implies a mean wow from the emoji comment. Later, Asha and her family are back at their home. Her parents are browsing through their phone when a scary internet meme called Grim Cuddy appears on their screen. It's shown that Grim Cuddy appears to be the monster who attacked Melinda's son previously. They read further about the Grim Cuddy, and it is rumored to be a challenge for the kids to hurt themselves or other people. After reading this, the couple get extremely worried about the safety of Asha and Ramkin. This prompts them to warn their kids about it to prevent them from being a victim of it. But Asha is annoyed by this idea, so she insists that they will not do a stupid internet challenge for attention. That night, Asha scrolls through a feed where a bunch of kids get Grim Cuddy talk from their parents. She then asks her friend, and it turns out that her friend also gets the Grim Cuddy warning from her parents. In their room, the couple hear nudes about two kids who just cut themselves. This makes them worry further. As they are worrying upstairs, the Grim Cuddy reveals itself to Asha, who is busy making a toast while listening to a meditation on her phone. She sees the Grim Cuddy approaching her, making her scream out of fear. Her father immediately checks on her, and the Grim Cuddy instantly disappears. They call the policeman, who eventually interrogates Asha. The policeman lets her describe what she saw, and it matches the Grim Cuddy's internet photo. The policeman then reveals that they received a lot of calls, where kids claim that they saw the Grim Cuddy. After that, he privately tells Asha's father that the kids are possibly making up the story of the Grim Cuddy. He thinks the claims that they saw Grim Cuddy are part of the challenge. Asha overhears the conversation, and she attempts to call her friend. But her father confiscates her phone and laptop to prevent her from joining the challenge. The next day, the couple tell Asha and Ramkin to put their devices in a detox box. They explain to Asha that they need to cut their screen time in the meantime to avoid the negative effects of technology. Rankin voluntarily gives up his devices, while Asha thinks her parents are simply doing it since they believe in the Rim Cuddy challenge. Asha attempts to take her phone away, but her father pulls it back. As they have a commotion, the Grim Cuddy reveals itself to Asha, scaring the shit out of her. That night, Asha sneaks into Ramkin's room to borrow his hidden backup laptop. Using the laptop, she goes online and finds out that most of the kids cannot access their devices. Apparently, the parents in the town confiscated the devices out of fear in the Grim Cuddy challenge. She then posts to ask if anyone still has their phone. Suddenly, her father turns off the internet connection in their house. This forces Asha to secretly take her phone out of the detox box. She opens up her phone, and Cassidy responds to her post. Cassidy calls her, and she answers it. Cassidy shares that her parents are yet to confiscate her phone. Right then, the couple walk downstairs, only to find Asha has taken her phone from the box. They then frantically search for her throughout their house. On the other side, Asha reveals to Cassidy that she has seen the Grim Cuddy in reality. Another girl joins their call, and she tells them most of the parents in town prevent their kids from going to school. Cassidy's parents want to talk with Cassidy about the Grim Cuddy challenge. Before leaving the call, Cassidy tells Asha to go to school tomorrow, no matter what. Meanwhile, the father gets worried, as he cannot find Asha in their house. Out of nowhere, the Grim Cuddy approaches Asha, who is currently hiding in the garage. 
She runs towards the bathroom, and there Grim Cuddy cuts her arm. She takes a knife and cuts the Grim Cuddy back. The parents find her hysterical, while the Grim Cuddy instantly disappears. They think that she deliberately cuts herself. Knowing that her parents won't believe the Grim Cuddy cut her, Asha tries to explain to her parents that the cut was an accident. She then tries to convince her parents to let her attend school tomorrow. The next day, Asha attends school and meets Cassidy. Cassidy reveals that her parents confiscate her phone and they put it in a detox box. Her parents also use the same phrase to cut their screen time in the meantime, so Asha and Cassidy figure out that their parents might have been brainwashed by the same article. To figure it out, they go to a friend who still has access to the internet. The friend's parents are away, so he can do anything he wants. As they arrive there, the friend is hosting a party at his house. The party people record and post a video where they pretend to be controlled by the Grim Cuddy. After that, Cassidy and Asha search for the term detox box on the internet and they found a blog written by Melinda. The blog turns out to be a parenthood blog. Apparently, Melinda's blogs claim that technology has a negative effect on kids. There, they find the phrase detox box and cut the screen time in the meantime. To their surprise, the photo of the Grim Cuddy is in an article in the blog, but the article cannot be accessed anymore. Asha thinks that Melinda's blog can be related to the Grim Cuddy, and she wants to find her address. However, Cassidy is reluctant to join her, since she thinks that it's absurd to visit Melinda's house. Before Cassidy leaves, Asha asks her if they are cool, since she left a wow comment on Asha's video previously. At this point, Cassidy tells Asha she overthinks too much in real life, which is completely opposite of her vlogs. She advises Asha that a real Zim person has inner peace in every circumstance. Meanwhile, the couple start to look for Asha as they find out that she is not in school. The mother browses the internet and manages to watch the video from the party. There, she sees Asha behind the party kids, who are pretending to be controlled by the Grim Cuddy. They begin to freak out as they think the party people are part of the Grim Cuddy cult. Back at the party, Asha cannot find Melinda's address, so she seeks help from Rankin through the Skype video. Rankin immediately warns her that their parents are coming to get her. He also thinks that their parents are not worried about him, since he never saw the Grim Cuddy. Rankin is reluctant to help her, since a single search might be detected by software installed by their father. But in the end, Asha manages to convince him. Asha then posts that Melinda is responsible for the Grim Cuddy. After that, she sees the Grim Cuddy approaching, so she instantly walks away. She tries to leave the house, but the Grim Cuddy stops her and continues to chase her. Apparently, she is the only one who can see it, since it appears to be invisible from the other party kids. The Grim Cuddy eventually manages to catch her. It takes out a knife to cut her legs. In response, she gets a knife and cuts the Grim Cuddy back, making it walk away. She walks out and the Grim Cuddy grabs her again. This time, it cuts her again in her arm, making her scream out of pain. Her parents finally arrive at the house, and they hear her screams. They immediately rescue her, and the Grim Cuddy instantly disappears. They bring her back to the car. The father finds out that Rankin is using the internet in their home. He immediately drives the car back to their house, as he's extremely worried about his son. Meanwhile, Rankin manages to find Melinda's address. He tries to relay the information to Asha, but he cannot contact her anymore. Suddenly, the Grim Cuddy appears behind him, and it proceeds to choke him. The three soon arrive back at their home, and they find Rankin unconscious on the floor. Fortunately, Rankin is still alive. The next day, Asha wakes up in the hospital together with Ramkin. There, the mother calls a psychiatrist to examine Asha's mental state. As her mother is gone, Asha opens Ramkin's laptop and finds Melinda's address. She then immediately sneaks out of her room. As she's walking out of the hospital, she finds out that Cassidy is also brought to the hospital. She talks to Cassidy, and it turns out the Grim Cuddy manages to victimize Cassidy after her parents freaked out. At this point, Asha figures out that the Grim Cuddy is attacking them when their parents begin to worry about them. Asha proceeds to drive toward Melinda's home. Meanwhile, the mother finds out Asha is heading there, so she proceeds to drive there. Asha eventually arrives at Melinda's home. There, she nicely asks Melinda about the deleted Grim Cuddy article and why her son stabbed Melinda. Melinda dismisses her questions, saying the stabbing incident is just an accident. After that, Melinda asks her to leave. However, Asha knows Melinda is hiding something, so she sneaks inside Melinda's house. There, she finds out her son is locked inside an enclosed room. He is now in a starving state and instructs her to put him back locked in the room, since he cannot make his mom worried about him. Melinda arrives with a shotgun, and she tells Asha to leave. In a few moments, the mother arrives to pick up Asha. Asha tries to convince her mother that Melinda locked her son inside the room. She also explains to her that the parent's hysteria is feeding the Grim Cuddy. The mother does not believe Asha at first, but she soon realizes that she might be freaking out too much. She then believes Asha, and she walks back inside Melinda's home to confront her. She asks Melinda if she makes up the Grim Cuddy, but Melinda says her son just saw it online, and it pushes him to cut himself. 
Melinda insists that she's trying her best not to think of the Grim Cuddy. At this point, Melinda worries about her son, and as a result of the worry, the Grim Cuddy attacks her son. She gets furious and attempts to shoot Asha and her mother. In response, Asha's mother pushes her to the ground, making her briefly unconscious, and so the Grim Cuddy disappears. She soon manages to stand, and she attempts to shoot them again, but her son stabs her in the legs, causing her to drop into the stairs. After that, the son falls unconscious, since he is in a weakened state. The mother then drives the innocent boy to the hospital to give him enough medical attention. Meanwhile, the father checks Rankin's laptop and finds out that his son accessed the dark net market. He becomes furious about it. Rankin explains that he is just curious about those things. The Grim Cuddy appears behind his father as he expresses his rage. He instructs Rankin to get dressed as they will go somewhere. In the meantime, Asha finds out that Cassidy is in critical condition because of a stab wound in her neck. Asha knows that the Grim Cuddy attacked Cassidy. On the other side, the mother goes to pick up Ramkin, who proceeds to tell her that there is something wrong with his father. Knowing that the Grim Cuddy attacks because of the parent's anxiety, the mother attempts to administer the tranquilizer to him. But he manages to take it away from her, as the police arrive to interview her. Before leaving, she tells her husband to take the tranquilizer shot. The father finds out that Ramkin manages to run away, making him freak out again. So the Grim Cuddy appears again, and it starts to hunt Ramkin. Fortunately, Asha sees Rankin running away, and she grabs him. She takes a scissor, thinking that she can hurt the Grim Cuddy using it. She leaves Rankin in the room to find her father, and the Grim Cuddy attacks Rankin again. At this point, she takes away her father's attention. She makes him worried about her, so the Grim Cuddy will attack her instead. As her plan finally works, she proceeds to run away, where she can confront the Grim Cuddy. Soon after, the Grim Cuddy chokes her. She repeatedly stabs it with the knife, until it falls to the ground. But the Grim Cuddy reawakes and it proceeds to chase her. She attempts to run away until her father finds her. The Grim Cuddy tries to stab her with a scissor, but it appears to her father that she is killing herself. He stops her, and she pushes the scissor away, which stabs her father instead. She runs outside, and the wounded father follows her. There, he witnesses her float in the sky as the Grim Cuddy chokes her up. At this point, Ash's father believes a real Grim Cuddy is attacking her, so he tranquilizes himself to stop it from attacking her. The movie ends where Asha discusses how the Grim Cuddy attack finally stopped. Apparently, the hysteria among the parents stopped as they finally gained communication with their children. In the end, Asha says Grim Cuddy can possibly come back as the parental hysteria gives existence to it. This is Daniel CC Movie Channel. Stay safe and enjoy your day.